the VA is such a big deal to Dundee. So I wanted to make sure that everyone would get a decent experience. Accessibility is so important, especially in the museum environment. I'm a digital interaction designer at Duncan of Jordanston, which is part of the University of Dundee. At the degree show, I'm showing my final piece, which is called SAM. It stands for Sensory Audio Map. It's like a portable board. You just pick it up and there's like a tactile piece on it from 3D print, uh, specifically the Scott Monument. And there's also headphones, so there's a loop of audio that I've recorded and put sounds in as well. So it sounds like you're in Edinburgh. And basically it's a way for visitors to the v and to have a more enriching museum experience. I thought, how would you make something th that is a visual experience, a non-visual experience? Like how would you incorporate that through the other senses such as touch and hearing? It was quite a small space, but there's such huge and old exhibits. There was this huge brass uh, piece. I'm only five foot two, so maybe about 20 of me or <laughs> so. Um, and I was really taken aback by the fact that people 100 years ago or so were standing next to it the way I was looking at it now. And I thought, um, if you're walking through there, you wouldn't really get the same experience if you couldn't see them as well. It was really important to do loads of research for it because obviously I don't have sight issues. There's these um, Cambridge Toolkit glasses and what you do is you just layer up each set of glasses and then it gives you an idea of what it's like to have sight issues and I wasn't expecting it to be that bad at first and I tried them on and what they tell you to do is try to like use a kettle or something and I tried to make tea and it was impossible. I was part of a guided tour at the v &A as well and that was with um, one of the blind societies from Perth. They were just using some of my basic prototypes but Overall, I've had really good feedback from them as well. The reason I went for Raspberry Pi and 3D printing, which I never really used before this year, was because I think it's important that art and technology and design are kind of combined. Before starting this course, I didn't really do anything with tech. Most of the feedback I got at the time was to make something so it wasn't like just totally flat. So that's why I've made it all 3D printed so it really comes out with the board and you can touch all around it. To have my product in the V&A or something, that'd be insane to be honest. I'd love something like that. It's something that I've been really proud to have made. So it would be quite amazing to see it actually being used. Please hire me if you see this. <laughs>